Hey, cuties. Hope you're not sick of Christmas yet because we have Christmas number three to celebrate this year. Brief video since Life Wonders decided to stab me in heart and not release the gangster banner immediately. God damn it. Anyway, let's hop right to it. Lightning round. Hey, at least the ARs look absolutely gorgeous. But how do they play and are they worth playing for? Three, two, one. It's getting hot and steamy here. Oh my god! Clear! I'm looking forward to putting these up on our home screen when the update rolls out. Now, to the Oeta Christmas Transient Summon. Otter! Otter? More like, why bother? Uh, I can only surmise there must be some counter operative working at Life Wonders who hates slash damage dealers, as this is just getting ridiculous at this point. Just like Gordon, your amp is unreliable and your damage denial is restrictive. Despite having long slash range, your pull is only reaching within slash range. When that disappointing pull and a basic damage mitigation whose lineage is traceable to the release kits of this game are the only guaranteed parts of your kit, you know, there must be something fishy going on in the dev room. We already have guaranteed board wipers and call clears. Why can't we have one reliable slash damage dealer? Jesus Christ almighty. Go back to the police academy and study up your Zootopia reject. Long longer. Column clear alert! Column clear alert! Ugh, again? Alright, let's see what they're bringing new to the table this time. And it's... debuff mitigation, buff denial, and a tiny bit of tanking. I guess that's novel? It'll be a good general purpose unit for tall map challenges, strongly denying the enemy any advantage state. Incidentally, he's actually not that strong a column clear. Reaching only 10k damage while exploding a handful of amps, brought up to only 35k after moving. There's potential for laudable damage between his mid-range charge fell and his slight advantage over all debuffs. Both charge fell and debuff stacking seem to be making slow but sure grants relevancy, so maybe one day Lam Bader can shine. If not, then I'll take the punishment. No less than being hosed down by him and his entire firefighter team. Don't be Oh god, he's gonna do it! He's gonna clear his column! Ah! I can't believe you've done this. Column clearers are getting so ubiquitous that we're now starting to see subtypes burgeoning. Much like Akiha Gongyun and Arslan, Gongle is another 5-star column clear with sugar, spice, and everything nice. The sugar and spice is a meaty damage achieved in unique ways. For Pigsy, a couple of rare amps plus a couple of conditional amps. His emergency measures, healing and heal amp, damage mitigation, and debuff denial are everything nice. These are the ingredients to create the perfect calm clear. But Life Wonder has accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Sub 90% unreliability with parts of his kit designed to function only after failing to clear. Thus, the emergency measures calm clears were born. Damn it. I won't spare you for this calm day. Get ready to be spit roasted for Christmas dinner. Tourist. This Genshin Impact Guildmaster makes a grand return, casually playing as Santa Claus after nearly killing everyone in Tokyo. He's very, very sorry though, and has brought some wonderful damage amps for gifts. So wonderful in fact that your entire team also takes up the gift giving mood. His allies can now share the first three buffs they received to their allies. Christmas truly is the season of giving, with certain fat cats like Shiva sharing their buffs to bring joy and destruction to the world. Turing has one more gimmick to give, a once a phase opportunity to make the enemies point their weapons away from you and toward each other. Okay, uh, this last bit is a bit of a joke ability, but it makes a good impact if you commit to the bit. Now if only he can go back to Mihoyo and put them in the giving mood for something I actually care about. No more twinks please, and roll out the cute fatties. On the other side of the coin of trash slash units, we sometimes find remarkable polish, a real collectible even. Allow me to introduce you to Horus. To make up for his low range, Horus is filled to the brim with reliable, strong effects, both supportive and disruptive. For his own team, he delivers triple damage amp and rate up, three damage mitigations, extreme debuff denial, healing and agility. For the enemy team, he drops their damage while denying their skills and movements at a terrifying range. Nearly everything is guaranteeable, and the parts that aren't can be rolled for multiple times in a turn. Hmm? Horus, did you have something to say? Oh, wow! 
You'll also do my laundry, cook my meals, and toss my salad? Aw, how sweet of you! I'd love to try some! Question of the month. Should you pull? I'd give Gongli and Ulaanbaatar a tug or two. Oh, uh, were you asking about the banner? Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't pull for them. However, you will get a lot of value from securing Horus or Turing, with both pulling a lot of weight with their kits, while being easier to summon as four stars. Otter is a bit of a poison apple though, spoiling the bunch, but I think Horus and Turing are worth the risk. You should pull for the high value and low risk. My condolences to anyone chasing after the five stars though. For the ARs, you can skip them like most other AR banners, but it might just be worth it for the art alone. That's all for now, cuties. Catch you next time.